Hello friends, in this tutorial, we will discuss, how to dynamically display selected exam details on web page, by using PHP script with Ajax. In previous part, we have seen, how to list pending or newly schedule exam details, in select box, on index page. Now we have proceed for how use can enroll pending examination, for this below this, we have write, span tag, with id is equal to, exam details, under this tag, we will load particular exam details, with enroll button. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write select tag id exam list, parsley method, this method will initialize parsley, javascript library on this tag. After this, we have define exam id variable, with blank value. Below this, we have write dollar with select box id exam list, with change method, so when we have select exam, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write dollar with select box id exam list, with attribute method, and here we have write required, so it will add this attribute, under this tag. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar with select box id exam list, with parsley method, with validate method, so if user select exam, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write exam id variable is equal to, dollar with select box id exam list with value method, it will fetch the value of selected exam id, and store under this variable. Now we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to, user ajax action .php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method of send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define action variable with value fetch exam, page variable with value index, and exam id variable value. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with span tag id exam details, with html method, and under this we have write, data, it will display selected exam details with enroll button, on web page, without refresh of web page. Now we have go to user ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, with condition like dollar post page variable value is equal to index, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write another if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch exam, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object, with query variable is equal to, select star from online exam table, 
where online exam ID is equal to dollar post exam ID variable, this query will return data of particular exam. Below this, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method. This method will execute above query and return query execution result. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to this HTML code. Here we will display exam details in table format. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and here we have append HTML code with six table row for display exam details. In first table row, we want to display exam title, so here we have write dollar row online exam title variable. In second row, we want to display exam date and time details, so here we have write dollar row online exam date time variable. In third row, we want to display exam duration details, so here we have write dollar row online exam duration variable with minute string. In fourth row, we want to display exam total question details. So here we have write dollar row total query variable. In fifth row, we want to display details of marks per right answer. For this here we have write dollar row, with table column name marks per right answer. Same way, in sixth table row, we want to display, details of mark per wrong answer, so here we have write dollar row variable, with table column name marks per wrong answer, with mark string. Now we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar exam object with if user already enroll exam method, with two argument like, dollar post exam ID variable, and dollar session user ID variable. This method will execute if block, if user already enroll particular exam, but suppose user has not enroll particular exam, then with exam details, exam enroll button will display, so by click on button, user can enroll in particular exam. First we have go to examination class, and here we have make function if user already enroll exam with two argument like dollar exam ID, and dollar user id variable under this function we have write dollar this with query variable is equal to select star from user exam enroll table where exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable and user id is equal to dollar user id variable this query will fetch user exam enroll data from user exam enroll table now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with total row method greater than zero this condition will check if total row value greater than zero then it will execute if block of code if above condition true that means user has already enroll into particular exam, and it will execute if block, and here we have write return statement, true, otherwise return statement false. Now we have go to user ajax action.php file, and here under this if block, 
we have write dollar in roll button variable is equal to this HTML code. Under this, we have write button type is equal to button, with name is equal to enroll button, and in button text, we have write you already enroll it, this button is for only display purpose. But user is not enroll in particular exam, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar enroll button variable is equal to, this HTML code. Under this, we have write button tag with type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to enroll button, data exam ID is equal to dollar row online exam ID variable, by click on this button, user can enroll or take part in particular exam. Now we want to send response to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement, with dollar output variable, this will display exam details on web page. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login in user side, and here on index page, we can see pending exam list, in select box. When we have click on select box, then here we can see exam list, so we have select this exam. After select exam, then here we can see that exam details list, exam title, date time, question, total marks, and negative marks details on web page. Below exam details, we can see enroll button, by click on this button, user can take part in particular exam. If user has already take part in examination, then from this enroll button, he can you have already enroll it button, that button will be only for display purpose. By click on that button no action will be done. So, in this part, we have covered, how to dynamically load or display selected exam details on web page, in next part we will discuss, how user can enroll in particular exam. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.